review for Lori's Lemonade Stand, a wig boutique. And today I'm going to be reviewing Bella Tress's Dolce & Dolce from their cafe collection. And this is in the color Hibiscus. And this is by far has been the longest wig I have yet to try on and review. But it is one of the most feminine, very sexy, very um, pretty wigs I've had the opportunity to try. So this is a balayage colored style wig and you can see her at the top you have these nice dark brown almost black roots I would say and it fades into these nice um, magenta red a little bit of hints of orange in there. Uh, I will go ahead and show you up close. You can see a lot of those purples, a lot of the little bits of orange, and lots of red hues in it. And up against the dark brown, it really tones it down and creates this like nice, calm color combination, but still has these nice, bright colors involved. So I'm just gonna do a quick turnaround so you guys can see the full length of it, as well as the cut. So again, very, very beautiful wig. This is a hand-tied monofilament crown top wig. So it really makes it really nice to part your hair um, in these very long bangs in either direction. I had to adjust mine just so they're a bit more out of my face. Um, but here you have the hairline that looks really good. It looks really natural. And then like I said, you're able to part your bangs in a different direction very easily. So this is extremely silky hair. I feel like I should mention just how soft this is. And I love the layerings that it has starting right after the jaw. Um, it does a lot of face framing adds a lot of depth to the wig. So this is synthetic hair, however it is heat friendly, so it is able to reach 350 degrees comfortably. I usually put it on the lowest setting when I'm doing um, any styling to it, but given the length of it, I feel like there's a lot of fun opportunity to play around with it and come up with some really pretty styles. Um, this is in the cap size average. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off so you guys can see the cap construction underneath as well as uh, talk about the measurements of the wig. Okay, so here she is off and you can really see the perspective in length here. Um, I am 5'2 and this really sets just about to the top of my hip bone here so it is quite long. So as far as measurements go, uh, you have the back here, which is 23 inches, and you have the sides that are also 23 inches in length. The nape is just going to be a tad bit shorter at 16 inches, and then including all the layers that it has, the overall um, length is 15 to 23 inches. So this wig does weigh 6.8 ounces, so for those of you who still want the balayage style effect, um, but maybe not the length or the um, weight, Bellatress does offer lots of other balayage colors in different um, weight and lengths. But honestly, I loved the length. Um, I tend to go short, but this was just extremely pretty. Um, and I would say a little bit flirty, like it just has this really nice um, feminine, uh, just long cascading hair about it. It's just really pretty. And the weight didn't really bother me at all comparatively to other wigs that I wear. So I'm gonna flip this inside out so you guys can see the cap construction. So here you have the monofilament top 
and then the lace front. Um, this does have very, very long bangs, so it just makes it nice to part them in whatever your preference is. Then here in the back, you have that expandable and breathable um, cap. And then here you have the felt ear tabs on both sides. You have the felt backing for comfort. And then here, of course, you have the adjustable um, straps to make it just a little bit more snug and fitted to the head. So overall, just a really nice um, cap. It's very comfortable, very breathable. I didn't feel too hot in it given the amount of hair that it was. But again, just these really pretty colors. I think is what makes this wig against the dark. So I'm just going to go ahead and toss it back on. And then adjust the hairline so you guys can see that again up close. It's really, really natural, very pretty. Again, it makes it really easy to part your bangs in a different direction without losing that hairline. Which I really like, especially if you're going for a certain look after you've styled it or um, applied heat and done a different type of style to it. So overall, just a very pretty wig. This was my first time ever trying it on and just at first glance, I really like it. I think I really like the length and the color combination involved. Um, I love the how far down the body it goes. I feel like it just does a lot of nice contrasting as well with these layers. Okay, so there you go, guys. This is Dolce & Dolce, again, by Bella Tress. I really think this is gonna be one of my favorite wigs to wear. I just love this hibiscus color. Uh, I also like the layering and styling of the wig. I feel like it's just very dainty and feminine and just really pretty. If you guys want more information on Dolce & Dolce's wig, or you want to see other color variations in the balayage or solids, Please check out Lori's Lemonade Stand. If you're in the local area, she is located in Rancho Cucamonga. You can book an appointment and see if this is something that works for you. Otherwise, you can go to her website at lori's-lemonade-stand.com. Um, right there on the home page, there's a search bar and you can go ahead and type in Dolce & Dolce by Bellatress. And um, you can see the color chart that they have available and kind of do your own color matching at home. And also check out her Instagram handle, it's lauries-lemonade, where you can just see other types of wigs and styles available to you. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and then I'll see you in the next one.